together with Strike Force. So I believe more girls of 145 of Strike Force will go come to Invicta. So uh, this one girl at 145, I really want to meet <laughs> Cyborg when she's off her suspension. And uh, yeah, I will be fighting for a couple of years, and it's it's my goal that I want to fight for like I think two more years because I want to become a mom one day too. And my final fight, I want to fight against Cyborg. <laughs> One of the gyms he's teaching. This is where it all started for me. It's a really old place. You have to put down your own mats, but uh, all the champions were made here. Huh? <laughs> Since uh, 14 years or something. Everybody started here. Alistair, CR, Malus, all the guys. Everybody was here. Chick Liddell was here. Uh, Hayata Sakurai, John Lewis, Gilbert Eiffel, Joke Castell, old school guy from Holland. So it's a very, uh, uh, yeah, it's not like your, your normal MMA gym, but I love it here. It's like, uh, we always have to put on the mats, you know? It's like everybody tries to, to put down as less as mats as possible, but this is where I'm coming from. You should never forget where you're coming from. A lot of people do that when, once they get famous and um, uh, they get certain chances and people talking to them like hey yeah you can make more money here come over with my management and they forget about loyalty you know they only think they think like I'm gonna make a lot of money I'm not gonna share with anyone anymore but they forget that when you lose and you lose a few times in a row that there's still your loyal trainer who tells you you know you're a good fighter and I believe in you and I will back you up and I will go with you to more fights and you know you have to, you have to stay with your uh, with this sport and with this love and a lot of fighters uh, seem to forget about it I, I won't f never forget about it you know Martin is a trainer I started training with and um, he has built me and without him I would never be at the at this, I would never had this career. I would be working at an office, hating my job, you know. <laughs> and um, now I'm a fighter, and I'm, I love my life, and I'm opening my own gym, and and it's also my management, Golden Glory. I mean, they've had a, tons of shit in media. That's it's a bunch of lies, and I'm not a stupid person, you know. I'm, I can be naive girl or whatever, but I know when something is good, and when I know when something is bad. And the people of Golden Glory, they've always helped me when I was down and out, because I have had my share of negativity as well. Uh, they've always helped me and, and believed in me and also found me with money when I had to go to, to ADCC or something like that. You know, and it's time to pay it back when you're at a certain level. And the people, there are people who forget about that and there are people who don't. And the people who don't are still with Golden Glory. So when I go out and, and stop fighting, I want to go out with a bang and I believe that Cyborg is the bang uh, <laughs> of my career, so I will be, but it will take a few more years.